Here we go, Nutriment. London Bridge is falling down. You got the whole Wikipedia thing on it, right? Yeah. Releasing the first British hip hop record in the UK, right? Jive Records. So what's what happened, right? Jive Records is ending the contract with him. And because I was on tour with him, rapping with him, he said, write some lyrics, we're going to take it to him. We're sitting at the table, I'll write some lyrics, put it across the table. The guy who says, all right, we're going to continue the contract, we'll get back to you. I don't hear from him for months. He's renewed his contract with them and left me out in the cold. So I went through so much shit, man. I was like, what, my lyrics, you get the record deal back again. You know what I'm saying? Wait, so, why, he took your lyrics? or? No, he didn't take my lyrics. He used my lyrics to get back to the label. Oh, that's not true. Yeah, just... you see, I didn't hear from him for months. I said, dude, that's a cold move, but he didn't give a shit. So that's he was snaky. foul like that. He was foul like that, you know? Yeah. Like Nutriment. And I don't know. I'm, I've never thought to Google this before. I'm going to see if City Limits crew comes up on it. If it. If it does, that'll fascinate the hell out of me. Yeah, but you know what? Like, everyone's like, why are you trying to blah, blah, blah? So I said, you know what? Make money and all that business. I was there at the beginning. I did it for the art. You know what I'm saying? For the love of it. Yeah, for the love of it. So all these people like, trying to make mad back. I could have got a record deal in America, but the guy was like, oh, the name of the, uh, of the company is Thug Records. So I don't be associated with something called Thug Records. See, City Limits Crew. What year does it say? Uh, 1985. See what I'm saying? 1985. And I was doing it in 79. So I actually met him in America as well. I couldn't believe I met him. I met Newsman. And then he can rap in English and flip it to French as well. But I was crazy with it out of America. I battled five rappers in a row, man. I was battling plenty of people. Like, I got the YouTube video of me battling one other street. I didn't even know City Limits Crew was just going to come up just then like that, you know? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. If I put his name up, this would be the guy. Because the one I said was doing it right, right from when I started, he's a Christian rapper now. He got religion or something. Oh. I found him on the YouTube. And it's like 30 years later is this the guy oh I've written Junior G there's a single called Junior is this him Junior G SoundCloud might be him but um see I'll split mine right because you heard me do the Abacat so you want to break it down see if I can remember it though you got mind on fire like John the Beloved like the writer of Revelation I write best in isolation Play a hater, try to hold me down, keep me from rising. Only makes me write a flow, even more appetizing. If you're English first rapper, how come you never blown up? Trying to finally break out, too many MCs get shown up. Five times I walked out of a record deal. Some was right like Jay Z, but that didn't appeal. Said my English accent was a minor, so the public wouldn't get it. And I finally break out, man, it's a mayhem records, you're gonna regret it. I put you on blast for eternity. Tried to play me like pranksters in a fraternity. An English accent and bedtime stories never held back stick wick. Think about the bullshit you told me, it makes me sick. I started rapping England, now I'm in the country in which it originated. Didn't know I ended up getting play hated. Kicking with an 18 man rap crew, bigger than the Wu Tang clan. Had to move on because couldn't deal with their stupid ass game plan. Big pimping, bling blinging, rapping about ice. It regularly if I spit that shit, but it's too big a price to pay, so I decided not to stay. People told me I should have played their game until I got a chance to break out on my own, but I've been keeping it real since I first grabbed the microphone. Always came tight, always came right, always up to photo fake MCs would buy. 23 of my 34 rap years have been spent in the USA. This is for my family, it was too big a price to pay. I started rapping in England, now I'm in the country which it originated. Didn't know I'd end up getting play hated. Maybe I'm, I'm doing it in the loop, I knew that's as far as I could go. But I, the actual book is worse with Chronicles as well. See, I say I do what no rapper's ever done. Like, three li four lines of rhyme in the same line. What do you mean? Yeah, the babble of the rabble, they don't realise that I dabble in words more complex than you find in the game of Scrabble. You ever heard that number before? <laughs> right? Three lines of rhyme in, on one line, rhymed right below on the next line. The same three words. The flows I spit make you look tame. I weave words like a spider. Got you snatching my shit like your name was an underwriter. See? Oh. See, 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 see. Spit, tame, blah, blah. Three times, and uh, 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 um, watch this, right? I was on uh, Venice Beach, and this black kid goes, I want you to run cooking in the kitchen of the White House. I said, you think I'm just going to run the house part, right? I said, watch, cooking in the kitchen of the White House, looking, she was bitching, she was my spouse. Bam, like that. You see what I'm saying? So I've been uh, rhyming. That's nice, man. Yeah, I've been rhyming 34 years now. I've played. So, like, to the point where I read a 250-page book on the Armenian genocide and made a four-minute rhyme out of it. Shave up for another minute because slam poetry. You heard of slam poetry? Yeah, I'm yeah, going to one. Yeah, you have to have it at three minutes. So it sounded even better at three minutes. And all the Armenians they were like, 
he must be Armenian, his grandparent must be Armenian, something they couldn't deal. And I will say, I'll put it on Surge, I think he held me back because they would have rather than an Armenian vote. And I'll say, I won't say it to the public, but that's my personal feeling. Yeah, yeah. But if I've been Armenian, I think we'd have more because he had another concert afterwards. That you he have the image. Me he could have had me at that concert, right, but he held me back. So I think politics comes into it, where if I was like, because it was funny, right, I was at this club, and my friend is Armenian, and all these Armenians, because it's the Armenian thing. So I come out with the curtain closed, just standing by the speaker, they're like, who's this guy, black man? What's going down? Got the mic, ripped the Armenian poem, and then I went back to my CD selling table, and the dude's uncle's like, here's a hundred dollar bill, just like that. You don't even have to give me a CD, you know what I'm saying? So I said, put, Snap. It, put it down like that, you know what I'm saying? So one guy in America wanted to beat me up, that's how badly I laced him on the, on the bat- battle map. You know? Shit. I said, he, said, I'll, he said, you don't have to give me any money, I'll give you ten dollars if you beat me. And his girl was there with him. So when I when I laced him, he went like this, pulled me forward like that. I was like, I thought the battle was uh, verbal, not physical. <laughs> so I put it in the contract that we don't make physical contact. Boom, like that. You know what I'm saying? That's jokes, like, man. So you heard the explanation rap, English rap. Now I'm going to give you the one where you get an idea of my lyrical. You ready? Yeah. Deep impact, this rhyme is packed with lines for you to bite on. You hear my flow, you quickly look around for something you can write on. I get poetic, telekinetic, my words with ludicrous move. Beats are flowing, rhymes can show when the needle hits the groove. Take your MCs out sequentially, the flow goes exponentially. Flow so dried up, it's like a lyrical recession. A line that fakes up and take it down in rapid succession. To succeed, what you need is Keanu Reeves' speed. I was a rapper in my delivery, making us bleed. My flow so comprehensive, you left in the defensive. My rhymes are fatter and more batter, cause the instance to scatter. Batter me, surrender, you should offer the ladder. I wear so many hats, many stylish. We call the Mad Hatter. Shabba Ranch, when they give you a ranking, you're in need of verbal spanking. Every flow you spit is tanking. Battle with verbal blows like my name is Ali. Satisfying your soul like a rapping Mali. Switch your tactics, map your strategies. You don't try to put me in a category. I burn MCs are bad for the living in hell. I'm doing it, doing it, doing it well. Got you caught up in my spell. Where's your backup? You're gonna need a tag team. You got drunk on gym beams. I messaged your rhyme scheme. I prophesied that you will fry when I fly like a twist one, do or die. Twist to you, say, here's a little display. I have an addiction to addiction. I'm back to break friction. I'm fiction, but factual. Because actually, I'm the tightest MC. I turned Eminem so pale, he became the whitest. MC. I'm the professional, said it's confessional, to confess you every sin, thought you could top me, there's no way you can win, so many ways you can burn you, I don't know where to begin, I ridicule each and every fool, thought his flow was hot and it was less than cool, you should be my psychic because you're robbing my rhyme, you're close to pathetic, you should be doing hard time, ladies love what I have to say, verbal metaphor play, tears brown because you're overworking your lacrimal gland, I bust a flow so complex you couldn't understand, I grip the mic, then rip the mic, my verbal is herb like a hot mint tea, cool it's lightning, I'm frightened, it's looking spooky, so you like that? Damn, that's oh, you nice, want to test man. the freestyle, right? Tell them to rhyme Arabia, right? Because so, so, that's like they'll just come up with the ear part, you know. I said no, get the A B I A. See, so if you got a knowledge of an, uh, anatomy, the more you read, because I'm a hardcore book reader, what, the labia? more lyrics you got. You know what I'm saying? It's all lyrical ammunition. You know? What did you say? Labia. Dude, that's it. You're the third person. Not many people could do it, man. See, why do you need this book? You already know how to rhyme. <laughs> yeah. Can I get a look, just as I have a look and see if this book is even worth? I mean, what would they tell you to do? What, what's the advice? It's, it's got um, topics on all of them, like content and flow and when all that When they're trying shit. to teach you... What, what they tell you, like, where they got their inspiration and stuff like that. It's good. Like, they they might tell you where Cool G Rap got his inspiration or whatever. Have you have, have you started rapping yet? Um, not Oz. really, like, I what just... What do you call yourself, Odds? Um, I thought this nickname for myself, Odd Sock, because... Odd socks look strange, but they work the same as socks that match. That's hardcore, man. I love that. So I shortened it to odds and Humor odds. Humorous form, dude. That's what you're coming with right there when you come up with that odds, the socks thing. <laughs> odds no. also ties in with trance and probability. Yeah, that's that'll do. You got it. It's the way your brain thinks already. You're going to come with some rap concepts that no one else has come up with. You, know? you really I've, think? I've, yeah, I've come up with some raps. 30 years later, people still haven't come up with the idea. The rapping Bible, the rapping temple, the Ten Commandments of Rhyme. No one's done it in the 30 years since I've written it. I'm 49 now, and I wrote it when I was 17, and people still ain't done it. Close Encounters of the Rapping Kind. No one's done it. Yet. <laughs> that sounds you like it, huh? You seen the film? No, my dad likes sci fi, though. Dude, you ain't seen Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I know what it's about. Like, they play the music and the uh, film's UFO. Awesome, man. It's the best UFO film ever. But in my rhyme, I, mean, I see the aliens, 
and the alien said, Earth, we have the power to enable you to speak in rhyme. You will find the effect is not temporary because you will have it all the time. You will realize your potential when you gain this ability. You will go out in the world and become the greatest rapper in history. And then I can't turn it off. And everything I say comes out in rhyme. And it's like, you know, like, that's what happens to people when they freestyle a lot as well. You find it hard to not rhyme. And I nearly lost my sanity in the first five years of rapping from doing that. Sure. Everything I saw was rhyming. And then you don't have to switch it off. Then in search of the seven scrolls of rhyme, it's like an Indiana Jones type concept where uh, you find these scrolls that make you the best rhymer in the world. Then, rhyming in Pig Latin. You know Pig Latin? Uh, I've heard of it. I don't know what it is. So. Right. Um, 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 don't know what it is. Right? You get the word, uh, do not know, know what it is. Right. So if you say like, uh, Debenhams. Yeah. You, say, you put the D at the end and add A-Y. Oh. Ebenhams Day. Oh. That's all it is. My friend really told me about it. I said, we are we are a, I could say MC, a, Herbie rapping backslam. What did I say? She's just a sucker MC. Tell me, how do you feel? Want you to know this is the real deal. Ooh, I could say MC, get out of my face. Me and I had an act, but I'm setting the pace. We just suck at MC. Get out of my face. I'm on the mark. I'm setting the pace. It's what I said. It's what you heard. I know you didn't understand a single word. Blur like that. See, so big Latin. You know, nursery raps, nursery rhymes. Uh, you know, one, two, buckle my shoe. Yeah. All right. I'm going to test you right. You want to, 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 to rhyme in that. Right, one, two, but make a hip hop version all the way up to 20, because the numbers go up to 20. So you'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, every single one. This is a rhyming test for you right now. Or me? Yeah, but instead of one, two, buckle my shoe, which is a nursery rhyme, try and put a hip hop slant on it. I can't think that quick, you know. Like... See, see, one thing, take, someone got the word calm in the dictionary and ripped that page out. The word can't should never exist. You come up with Lady Arabia like that. <laughs> Well, that was easy, though. All right, well, then we need, that's why you need the next level, the next break, next level up. Or just try one, two for now, so if you've got something that'll sound like a hip-hop version. One, two, I've got heart, it's true. Three, four. Three, four. Leave your ears on the floor. Five, six. Uh, lyrically sick. Seven, eight. Want more food on my plate? All right, we're doing it. <laughs> Nine, ten. A nice white hen. Uh, Eleven, twelve. That's I, a hard one. Huh? <laughs> a brothel of girls. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do mine to give you an idea. Yeah. One, two, don't mess with my crew. Three, four, we'll have to get raw. Five, six, we're in the mix. Seven, eight, you better get it straight. Nine, ten, they're going to be sided again. Eleven, twelve, we've got multiple cells. Thirteen, fourteen, none of them sporting. Fifteen, sixteen, hulking out, turning green. Seventeen, eighteen, leaving you contemplating. Nineteen, twenty, just a nuts I can be like that. Yeah, man. One, two, three, four, five, bad on me, you won't survive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, don't make me have to say it again. Like Rambo said, just let it go. You don't want to feel my flow. I know you'd really like to bite the rhymes I drop to keep it tight. Fiddle dee dee, fiddle dee dee, don't mess with the Wu Tang Killer B. One rhyme at a time, he'll make you see not to mess with the Wu Tang Killer B. Fee, five, fo, fum. Here is a rap from an Englishman. MCs start to flee because of what I said. Lyrically complex rhymes messing with their head. Bambada formed the Zulu Nation, in case you didn't know. And everywhere Bambada went, the crews were sure to go. One young DJ cut up a beat, the difference was the scratch of his feet. All of the mixes are so understand. Didn't they mess with the rappers again? Or you, no, didn't they mess with the DJ again? Or you rappers, leave this place today. Say yes sir, yes sir, we don't intend to say. One, because if you stick around, I have to take you out. Two, because you have no idea what rap is all about, you see? <laughs> Did you get what the melodies were? Yeah. Bar, bar, black sheep, hunting yeah, down, yeah. black. So that's what I've been doing, man. For, for that's years. jokes, man. So yeah, so the mission is taking on anything and rhyming it. The biggest thing I'm doing right now is uh, I spent two years, I rhymed the whole life of Christ, 270 pages. And Damn. I was like, who in the last 2,000 years has even rhymed his whole life? And if, I, if I'm the only one, I should be making some bad money, man. So I got it like there. I said, talk to a poet friend of mine. So I want to make a CD. I've shortened the 15 hours to one hour. Like every MC, they got an ego, right? We all boast, right? I said, four people, they say, told this story. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. But there was more people than that. It's like saying four people told the story of the 9-11 towers. There's more people than that, right? Yeah. That's the four they accepted. So it's a one-hour account from each of them, right? I said, John... 
the John Mark, he started from the baptism, right? No one else did. They all started from the birth. I said, I'm going to start from the baptism all the way to ascension. I like him one hour. I cut my 15 hours down to one hour. I said, I challenge. I challenge. I got to Chris. I challenge that my poem will drop harder than what's in the New Testament because it rhymes. And rhyming hits harder. Yeah. What do you remember about the, the OJ thing, Johnny Cochran? If it doesn't fit, you must have quit. You don't remember <laughs> nothing else except the bit that rhymes. You know what I'm saying? So I told him, oh. man. I told him, so you rhyme it, it comes harder. Your Armenian genocide, I rhymed it, it comes harder. There is yeah. an Armenian called R hyphen M E A N, right? And he's got one on the genocide too, but I say mine comes harder than his. And he's their biggest representative, you know what I'm saying? So that's why they had to put me out of the picture. And I'm like, alright, you'll keep it to yourself. You don't want yeah, me to have yeah. any parties. You don't want me to go on the march with you, but I've written the poem for you, so leave it like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So my challenge is I rhyme anything, I rhyme everything. You rhyme. I've written more poems than raps, 300 poems, 30 raps. I rhyme a half hour on the tsunami, Bangladesh. I rhyme uh, World Health Organization, rhyme school shootings, everything. The hardest thing you can do as a rapper, like Immortal Technique is my MySpace friend, and uh, just to drop something that'll make a change in the world. You can change the world with your rhymes. And then when I rhyme Jesus, you know what? Because all that truth isn't in the Bible. He said things outside the Bible that people don't know about, and you incorporate that into the rhyme, and you've made a difference, you know? You can switch off the brainwashing where everyone thinks oh he only said that he didn't say I'm the son of man he said all of y'all are sons and daughters of me of God you know so then we've got to switch from him to us you know what I'm saying yeah. we've got to take the eyes off him and put it on us you know so they yeah, focus on the message uh, more than the message but um, I would ask like who do you think who's your favourite rapper for now um either Giggs or Eminem who's Giggs oh is he an American guy too no he's from Peckham in London do you know that song, Talking the Hardest? Do you, can you give me a sample of the lyrics? If you're talking the hardest, gigs but help off in your thoughts as an artist. Cheers! Taught in the market, everybody wants to know where walking the park is. Walking the party, sporting the money. Half of the crowd's all snorting my Charlie. Sorting the bar, time to sort the banani. Shit's looking at me like, talk to me, darling. I like that. See, it's interesting, because you said one English guy and one American guy. Yeah, I had a little put Eminem on blast in my right heart, you know, turn uh, uh, whitest MC, turn Eminem the palest MC. Yeah. <laughs> now, the other one I did, right, I was like, enter the dragon, and that is who can I bag on? Do you dare to enter the centre? I'm a heat seeking missile, you can't miss with this style. I took Eminem to the ninth mile, he rhymes that amateur, I'm a real thing, you're a caricature, plus the fly deflected back at you. But, what it is, it's like the whole insert of the seven scrolls of rhyme. I'm trying to find scrolls and make the best rhyme. I leave this country, I go to America where rap started. It could have been even better. For the, because the plane went London, New York, LA. And I'm like, New York's too cold. I went in December. But they say you get out of a cab in New York where you walk right into a freestyle. You know? And I hardly met anybody rhyming in, in LA. Hardly anybody. Out of New York's all over the place. So in an alternate yeah. reality, I'd, look, I'd be even harder if I'd stayed in New York for 24 years. Yeah. But it is what it is, you know? Okay. Everything happens for a reason. Maybe I wouldn't have got into the poetry scene, you know? Maybe. But um, then I went to the poetry, and there's things I call poem scenes. Have you ever heard of poem scene? Hybrid of rapper and poet. Nah. See what I'm saying? And they're better. They're better than actual rappers. Like, you get an underground rapper is a poem scene. Like a uh, black star. Common, yeah, most deaf, Talib Kweli. You don't know these guys? Common, most deaf, Talib Kweli. See, there's a lot to tell you, man. I've got 34 years man, up here, right? Most Def, he's made a few movies as well. One with Bruce Willis called 16 Blocks even, right? So an actor well known as well as a rapper. Do you know that rappers get into films? Yeah, yeah. Luckily, I respirate, I memorized 200 of the greatest raps of all time and performed on the streets, getting money for singing and rapping to people in America because I was illegal at it for years. Couldn't get a regular job. But Respiration is one of the 10 best raps I've ever heard. And I include a uh, tribe called Quest Scenario as well. But this is the only the beginning, most Def, right? The full moon rolled high in the crowded metropolis, shining, who's on top of this? People was tussling, arguing and bustling, gangsters of Gotham, hardcore hustling, I'm wrestling with words and ideas, my ears is heavy, seeking what will transmit, it's across the part to transcript. This is the time for usual, suitable. Do you know, do you know? Oh man, I can't believe I'm fading it, man, it's such a cool rap. You're getting an idea of it though, from there. Yeah, yeah. But my favourite mecha rapper of all the time is Rakim. You ever heard of Rakim? I think he's in this book, maybe. He has to be, he has to be. 1986, yeah. right, is when he... But, 
Like he ain't doing nothing now and he's fallen off and Snoop is still on the scene and the LLC no Snoop is still currently Snoop is the one that's got the most longevity. He's got a really unusual Well he's look. changed his name now a lot. Yeah, no, Snoop like, it's funny, that's my parents from Jamaica. He goes there and he, and he gets the Jamaican vibe. And that's what I like about the guy, he's always doing different things. You yeah, know, that's yeah. what keeps him going, right? It's like Prince has fallen off, but Donald's still current, you know what I'm saying? So some people know how to stay in the game, you know? Evolve. But most people will know Snoop and they're all that, but Rakeem's flows are just unusual, you know what I'm saying? And like, I like unusual, watch it goes, as the earth gets further and further away, planets are small, the balls are clay, strain to the Milky Way, worlds out of sight, far as the eye can see, not even the satellite to stop. Turn around and look as you stare into darkness, your knowledge is took. Keep staring soon, you suddenly see a star, you better follow it, it's the R. You like that? Yeah. Yeah, so watch, right? This, I'm gonna test you, see if you figure outside the box. The name of his album is the 18th letter. Do you know what it means? Um, no. Right, he said, you better follow it because it's the R, right? So why did he say it's the R? Is that the 18th letter? No. Yeah, that's the 18th letter. His name's Rakim. He's given the first letter of his name. It's like when Janet Jackson came up with Rhythm Nation, 1814. Rhythm, R, 18th letter. Nation, N, 14th letter. Oh. See what I'm saying? Yeah, like that. So, what the best thing that happened to me was, like... I battled this guy, and the guy goes, he beat you. So I'm trying to hear that. I put down a six minute battle rhyme. I just spent hours, so I'm coming up with the hardest battle rhyme ever. And no, I never got beaten again on that. And then I did two sequels to it. It all ends now. I thought it all ended. And I can't remember what the third one was, but it was like, just coming harder every time, right? And then I was like, I went to poetry, and this guy was not called Insane. His name was Unsane, and he was bipolar. And he died in a car crash some time ago, right? Oh. But before he died and then he when I heard his flow I was like dude you gotta be on his tip zany rhymes and that's where you are I can already tell when you came up with odds right zany rhymes odds are socks odds chaos and all that right his rhymes is like, I said dude you're too serious with you rapping battle this and that just go crazy like he did like Prince said let's go crazy right you know look for the purple banana till they put us in the truck remember let's go crazy song by Prince that's the lyrics look for the purple banana till they put us in the truck in other words if you're looking for a purple banana the guys with the nets are going to come for oh, you yeah. you know what I'm saying so that's yeah. what it was you know so when I heard his flow I said I'm going to try his style and then I uh, wrote a flow and when he heard it he, he jumped up and said I wrote that but what it was it was he's wishing he wrote it you know what I'm saying so when I said his students passes the teacher and then uh, forever on after that I just kept writing zany rhymes and had more fun with it I said man I was done this years ago like um Watching TV, bored a survivor. I go back in time to swatch alive with Lady Godiva. I get a divorce, share a horse, I'm part of the course. Horse <laughs> from all the battle rhymes I've shared. The fake MC's lies I've spared. I'm a spark in the dark, I sell it to Bill Noah's Ark, and name it Cutty Sark. Yeah, but we're gonna need quality bark. I'm a serious, just saying it for a laugh. After dark, after midnight, gotta keep my rhymes tight. Remember the tight, and I wanna catch you biting the rhymes I'm reciting. Battling me, that's like all the world superheroes battling the Beyonder. I don't spare the female MC's to keep the ones with your Fonda. Got no time for little Kim, to me she's just like. Because to me she's much too slim. But that's not really the chemical. To me she's much too slim. That's a mix a lot. No, I can't be not fading. But you get the idea from me. Like, I can't really. Because if I don't keep rhyming my rhymes, man, I forget. But it's not time for the king, because me she's much too slim. Like my man's a mix a lot. Only big girls get me hot. What? No one trim the fat. I wear a different hat. I got it like that. For this story, I receive glory. If I don't make it too gory, parental guidance, no violence. This is the sound of silence. You see when I pause? Sound of silence. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you want to order my rhymes and look for a bit of material, then search for the flakes of my alphabet cereal. Problem solved, it devolved into alphabet pasta. Believed I received it from Jamaican Rasta. It's a pastor in the church, left in the lurch, and the needs to just.